Hello, I am Neon Afro, and this is going to be a free-to-play series in Vera. Now, I'm not a veteran player by any stretch of the imagination, as my highest level has only been 240, and it's on Akana. Through this series, I would like to offer a walkthrough for newer players while giving a general time frame of milestones should we reach, while also re-sparking my interest in the game. And it's going to be very interesting to see the... Uh, difficulties I face with the mesas, especially in regular server. With all that said, let us begin. Oh my gosh, I just realized I have the root abyss set. I am losing my mind. I just realized I should get profession because uh, I think it's an okay way to get some mesas early on. But the uh the veins and everything popping out on the map. Didn't even realize. Look at that. Hopefully I get a juniper berry seed oil. Nope. Oh. Still a little bit of bossing. Get that uh face or eye accessory from Zakoon. Hopefully one of those would help. Try to kill the arms first. Ah, uh, nothing. It's unfortunate. In this section, I spent some time to look around and find some minerals and those flowers to see if I can get any more of those juniper berry seeds or oils and perhaps some ores that I can sell in the auction house later. Another thing, uh, those mineral rock things can drop master craftsman's cubes, so that's definitely worth doing as well. Please, sir, I want some more. So I spent about 13 minutes doing, uh, going around harvesting stuff. Uh, I think we did all right. So when you reach level 30 charming, you can accept the excessively charming in the star tab on the left and you need a rose clipping and you can find those in the harvesting training ground that you can access through Ardent now. So there's an event going on in Maple Story for the Explorer revamp. Um, so if you make an explorer, you get like these stuff and it can be XP and note stones and I think symbols as well. So definitely make sure to uh, pick those up if you're an explorer. Through training, I got a few familiars and I opened them and I managed to get one with the item drop rate increase, which is what I was aiming for. I sorted out my nodes, got three boost nodes, and a few of the skill nodes. So I got the fifth chop skills for this class, and I want to show it off, and you can see it here, it just like kills all the mobs, which is really dope. So these are the stats I have right now. Um, I'm missing a lot of equipments. Uh, hope to fill them in later. So I decided to train for 30 minutes using the event coupons in the event shop. And uh, this is a little before and after of how much XP I got. So I decided to do the scrapyard weekly. Uh, it gives you 12 diffusions which you can sell in the auction house for about 54 mil for all of them at the price of 4.5 mil for each. It took me like a good minute to realize that you could just do the Gemini alone as long as you create a party. So I just did that. 
I got about 52% uh, of my XP bar from doing this, so it's definitely worth doing. I spent the next two hours just training in Scrapyard, and I was like uh, rotating maps to summon elite monsters and even bosses. I'll go over that in a later episode, but on initial thought, I don't think it's that effective for getting elite monster drops might not really be effective for getting XP either, but I'll definitely test it out later. I managed to level up twice within the 2 hours of training, and here I'm claiming the 3 experience no stones that they're giving us for the explore event. For the terror burning event, if you hit level 205, you get another 60 no stones. I managed to level up my boost nodes and my skill nodes by a lot. Since I hit level 205, I decided to do the reverse city uh, quest line. It took me about 37 minutes to complete. Just for fun, I decided to do easy sickness. Uh, I killed her in 7 minutes. This can serve as a benchmark as well for how strong we are right now. I decided to train for another 2 hours in the 2 times the XP segment of the day and I managed to level up 2 times within that period. I spent the next 30 minutes just uh, walking around the maps and harvesting any plants or minerals I found. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? And that concludes our first episode. Hey, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.